Flash floods create significant hazards for people and their property. The rising water levels are typically a result of intense rainfall. Predicting flash floods can be a challenge. It's a local threat that happens in a short amount of time. Flash flooding is difficult to forecast because we don't have rain gauges everywhere and the terrain where the rainfall does fall is very varied from one place to another. As people are building things, as rivers change and evolve, flooding impacts can be different with the same exact rainfall from year to year um, and from decade to decade. Researchers at NOAA's National Severe Storms Lab are revolutionizing the tools forecasters have at their fingertips. The Flooded Locations and Simulated Hydrographs Project, or FLASH, combines real-time rainfall estimates with real-time surface models. This produces new, important information about flooding. How much rain is falling? How rare is the rainfall? And also, is this rainfall gonna infiltrate into the soil or is it gonna pond and create a flood? Is it gonna create a catastrophic flash flood? Secondly, very specific locations. So at every one kilometer grid point, we're able to determine if there's going to be flash flooding there or not. Thirdly, the timing. How quickly is that wave going to arrive at a given location? I really like it because it gives us a historical perspective in addition to what's happening on each river and stream, and that provides me a lot more confidence with issuing warnings. Flash can help us put the rainfall into context and to really give us a heads up of where we need to be focusing our greatest attention to when it comes to putting out flash flood warnings. Flash is now operational across the National Weather Service, which means you'll be receiving more accurate updates and warnings about flash flooding in your area. For more info on Flash, check us out online and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.